everybody, welcome back to Games and Grills. Chris here, and happy Thanksgiving from Canada to all of our neighbors in the South and the US. Uh, I know it's a little few days early, but today I'm gonna show you how easy it is to do a turkey in the Charbroil Big Easy Oilless Turkey Fryer. So stick around, that bird is gonna turn out good. Here is our turkey. And we have a butter ball, which is pre-seasoned, pre-brined, so I don't have to do a thing to it. All that we need to do is flip it over into the basket for the Big Easy, and I'll show you how easy that is. And ta-da, there, done. Turkey's in the basket, ready to go. All we're gonna do next is start up the Big Easy and put, it, put the bird in. Stick around. Okay, next step is let's get the Big Easy going. First, we turn on the gas, and then we'll turn on the gas there, hit the igniter. Oh, and I don't know if you can see anything, but I can feel the heat coming out of there already. All right. Big Easy is going, we'll let her heat up. It doesn't take too long. And I'm gonna get a temperature probe stuck in the turkey, and then we'll drop her in. All right, the turkey is ready. Got the probe in it, right in the breast there. So when you put it into the basket for the biggies, you wanna make sure you put feet down, breast up, and that is how you put it in. Okay, we're gonna hook the basket. Lift her up. I'm gonna make sure my probe wire isn't caught. And down in. All right, there we go, the turkey is ready. The turkey is in. And should only take us about a couple hours, but I've given myself about a half hour uh, leeway. So, we'll see how it goes. All right, we're about a half hour in now. Let's just pull the bird up and take a quick look. <sighs> Here, it can't, it can't really see anything yet, but it smells fantastic already. I cannot believe how good this thing smells already. Okay, internal temperature is about 57, 58 degrees so far. So we've got a ways to go yet. Like I said, it's only been a half an hour. Now one of the great things about the Big Easy is that uh, there's no basting required that it will self-baste sitting in there in the basket. You don't have to worry about that. And there is a nice little tray here to catch the drippings. Now that looks a little watery there to begin with. Oops, hand in the way. So here, take another quick look. Yeah, so there's a little bit of drippings there. Oh, that does not want to sit in. So I'm <laughs> gonna have to fix that. But yeah, we're well on our way. Okay, so internal temperature is 120 now on the turkey. Let's take a look. Oh yeah, that is looking mighty good. Yeah, that is looking good. It smells amazing. Oh, I can't wait till this thing is done to cut into it and give it a try. Mm-mm. So we're gonna wait till it hits about 140 internal temperature, and then I'm gonna put the lid on the Big Easy. And if you haven't seen the lid before, that's what it looks like. It just sits on like that. And then what that does is reflect the heat back down and it really helps to crisp up the skin. You don't want to have this on for the entire cook because you're going to burn the outside before the inside is cooked. You'll want to put this on at the end for the last 15-20 minutes maybe and that's really going to help crisp up the skin. So next time uh, you see this, that's what we're going to do is put that lid on and uh, crisp it up. Okay, internal temp is 151 
uh, in some parts. <laughs> it's kind of all over the place. I've had it jumping around 147, 151. You can see the beagle is sniffing around. Get out of here. He knows that there's something good. Right, Roger? You can smell, can't you? Yes, you can. Yes, you can. Oh, look how excited. And here's Charlie. So those are our dogs, Roger and Charlie, in case you haven't met them yet. And that's the turkey. And like I said, it's about one, between 140 and 150. Uh, I, I don't know if the probe is slipping or what. So we're gonna go ahead and put the lid on now. And like I said, that is gonna help us crisp up the skin, which uh, I gave it a good poke before I turned the camera on and it feels pretty darn crispy already. So I am super excited to try this turkey once it is done and we get it out of here. I think it's going to be absolutely amazing. Stick around and we'll find out. Okay, this turkey has hit 165 internal in the breast. We're gonna take the lid off. Oh, look at that. Does that not look Fantastic. Oh my goodness. All right, let's pull her out and see. Oh, look at that. Oh, that looks fantastic, doesn't it? There's my finger in the way again. All right. Okay, we're going to pull this thing out. Get it inside, let it rest for a few minutes, and then we're gonna slice her up. Turkey is done, we'll cut a hunk off the breast to take a look. Oh, that looks pretty good, doesn't it? All right. Oh, it looks like he really enjoys it, and I'm sure he'd tell you that, but his mouth is full of food, so he definitely won't tell you that, because that is rude. So the turkey turned out awesome. The skin was crispy. The inside was nice and juicy. It was excellent. If you like this video, please subscribe, like, comment, like, share. and share, and we'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.